Okay, folks, uh, next fix here again, uh, 1986 for the 1980, representing the 1986 Fiero GT. These are my beautiful valve covers I got done by uh, Tim, the powder coat guy, out here in uh, this area, out in uh, beautiful Woodstock, Illinois. I'm in Pingree Grove. So today, uh, folks, we're just going to show you a little video uh, putting these valve covers on. It's kind of a cool day out here. Uh, today it is uh, November like 11th or 12th uh, a Saturday so right now um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to show you how to install a valve cover gasket these are kind of a makeshift bench here folks because uh, my workshops over there I got a cart uh, but I can't get it out because the car is here right now so we're just doing it right here uh, right now I'm heating up these valve covers they're aluminum um, with this heat gun I got, I put a little RTV on the inside corners and in the middle just to kind of stick the gasket. But like I said, it's only like 38 degrees, 36 degrees out today, so I want to heat up this valve cover, get this uh, RTV sealant, the silicone sealant to stick a little better. Uh, I'm also heating up the silicone gasket right now as we are videoing. So... These gaskets are great from Felpro. Uh, the old ones that came off were gray and they were also silicone. Suppose I could have used those, but you know, as long as we're putting uh, fresh parts and motor back together or the top end anyway, uh, we want to do it all right. Um, got my fuel rail there, that's all assembled the other day and each uh, fuel injector is tested, but that's a, a different video. We'll show you that as well. I'm going to take uh, document this whole job on this uh, Fiero GT 1986.